Kenya itainuka Kenya itasimama Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo mimi ni mkenya mzalendo je wewe leo hii tunataka kutoa heri na fanaka kwa wanafunzi wetu ambao wanasoma katika e, viwango tofauti tofauti wale ambao wanafanya mitihani ya kipsea wale ambao wanajiandaa kufanya mtihani wa kidato cha nne tukiwaambia kwamba tunawatakia e, waweze kuwa na nafasi nzuri waweze kupita mitihani yao ili waweze kuweza kuhitimu e, katika e, nyanja mbali mbali ambazo pengine wangependa e, kuziafikia ili waweze kuwa wataalamu e, 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 wale ambao watasaidia nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na niseme kwamba sisi kama serikali tungependa kukashifu kabisa mauaji ambayo yametendeka ya, ya uh, wakina mama zetu uh, wasichana wetu hivi kwamba kuna zaidi ya wasichana tisini ama wakina mama tisini ambao wameweza kuuawa uh, uh, kipindi ambacho kilichopita uh, cha, cha miezi mitatu. Kwa hiyo hilo ni jambo ambalo tungependa kusema kwamba uh, tunataka kukashifu kabisa uh, mambo haya na tutoe wito kwa wakenya kwamba tuweze kuwachunga uh, madada zetu mama zetu eh, ambao eh, wasichana wetu kwa sababu sisi wenyewe eh, ni, ni, ni jamii moja na hilo jambo linafaa kuangaziwa zaidi na serikali itachukua hatua kabambe kwa wale wote ambao wanahusika na mauaji kama haya na kwa hivyo tunaweza kutoa onyo kali kwa kila mtu ambaye ni husika eh, jambo lingine pia tungependa kuelezea ku, ku zaidi ni kwamba tuko katika uh, pilka pilka za kuhakikisha kwamba madarasa yote ambayo ni ya grade ya tisa yameweza kukamilishwa eh, kabla ya watoto kuweza kuingia uh, shuleni mwezi wa Januari tuna miezi kama miwili hivi kwa hivyo tutatia bidii tuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtoto yote ama shule yote ambayo haitokuwa na hiyo nafasi ya kuweza kujenga haya madarasa eh, ndipo waweze kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wote wameweza kushaheniwa E, mwakani. Kwa hivyo ni hilo ni jambo ambalo ni la muhimu zaidi na tena tungependa e, kusema kwamba Kongole, Hongera kwa wanafunzi wetu wa e, kidato cha nne e, e, ili waweze kwanza kupita vizuri e, na e, ili tuweze kufanya mambo haya yote kamili. Mimi mwenyewe kwa mfano mimi ni patron wa Buruburu Girls High School na kwa hivyo ninashukuru sana na nataka watakia wapite wa, wa, vizuri na wale wengine wote ambao wanasoma Kinyanzima uh, kama msemaji wa serikali. Ni vizuri pia kusema kwamba sasa hivi uh, tuna eh, mwamko mpya tuna mwamko mpya wa kwamba eh, kutokana na zile sera na jitihada na, ambazo serikali imeweza kutia eh, tunaona kwamba kuna kupunguka kwa bei ya, ya garama, garama ya maisha na mfumuko wa bei umeweza kuweza kushuka chini sana eh, kutoka asilimia tisa paka asilimia tatu nukta sita. hili ni jambo zuri zaidi ni jambo ambalo tunafaa kulisifia kutokana kwa mfano eh, kwa mpango ule wa serikali wa mbolea eh, kupunguza bei ya mbolea kutoka shilingi eh, saba mpaka shilingi mbili mia tano. tunaona kwamba watu wameweza kupata nafaka nzuri eh, hata nilikuwa nazungumza juzi na bwana mbaye ragwa ambaye alikuwa gavana kule Dharaka Nidhi ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa National Series and, and Produce Board na tayari kuna mahindi mengi zaidi kwa hiyo sasa hivi bila ambayo tulivyoahidi kama serikali E, tunajua kwamba sasa hivi unga unatoka shilingi e, e, mia moja. Pia ukiangalia kama ni bei ya sukari kilo moja imepungua paka shilingi mia moja na ishirini. Na ni vizuri kusema kwamba tunatoa e, 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 tunazalisha sukari ya kutosha kukidhi e, na kisi iliyokuweko e, ama mahitaji hapa nchini. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi kununua sukari kutoka kule nje. Hilo ni jambo zuri zaidi na uliona kwamba kuna mambo ambayo yalibadilika. Eh, vile ambavyo mheshimiwa rais aliweza kutoa sera kambambe za kuhakikisha kwamba vile viwanda vya sukari vimeweza kufuliwa tena. Pia ukiangalia kama ni ile gesi ambayo tunatumia nyumbani eh, imepunguka paka shilingi elfu moja. Hilo ni jambo lingine zuri la kuweza kuonyesha kwamba eh, mambo yamekwenda vizuri. Pia ukiangalia zaidi hata bei ya mafuta imerudi chini kwa mfano kuna kijana mmoja ambaye anaitwa John Odongo ambaye anatoka kule Kisumu ambaye sasa hivi kwa sababu ya hii na ni mtu wa boda boda ameweza kupata pesa anaenda safari nyingi nyingi na anaweza kupata faida zaidi na sio tu yeye peke yake ni, ni kote kote tu nchini utakuta kwamba watu wengi wana faidi kutokana na uh, kupunguka kwa bei ya mafuta eh, nchini kwa sababu ya ule mpango wa G2G ambao tuliweza kusikizana 
kwa pamoja na na, na nchi zingine uh, kama kule Qatar uh, uh, na, na, na tumeweza kusaidia na Saudi Arabia ambao wametusaidia kwamba sio kama wakati mmoja napata mafuta yameshuka yamekwenda juu na tumeweza hata eh, ku akisha kwamba hatutumii do, dola dola pesa za do, za za za, eh, za dola za kimarekani ambazo pengine zingeweza kuhakikisha kwamba kama zimekosekana eh, inakuwa sasa watu wanazitafuta na bei zinakwenda juu eh, na hiyo ni jambo ambalo kabisa na ukumbuke kwamba mfumuko wa, wa bei umeweza kupunguka eh, eh, kwa kiasi cha chini kabisa tangia mwaka 2012 eh, kwa hiyo ni jambo ambalo ni nzuri zaidi eh, tunafaa kusema miaka 12 na tumepunguza hilo eh, hi, ha, hizo bei pia ningependa kus- sema ukiangalia vizuri tumeweza kusifiwa uh, kwamba shilingi yetu imekuwa ni nzuri zaidi eh, kilinganishwa ulimwenguni na ile ya Argentina zinaongoza kutokana na takwimu na, 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 na utafiti uliofanyika sasa hivi kutoka shilingi milioni uh, kumradhi shilingi eh, 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 mbili mpaka tukafikia shilingi eh, tisa kutoka shilingi mbili paka shilingi 129. Kwa hiyo hilo ni jambo nzuri zaidi. Ni jambo ambalo e, tunafaa uh, kupigia makofi na kupigia upato. E, kwa sababu ni kuonyesha kwamba tumekuwa na sera nzuri kabisa. Kuna wale pengine walikuwa nafikiri hatuwezi kulipa uh, bei zetu e, e, madeni yetu kumradhi madeni ambayo lakini tulianza kulipa ile eurobond ambayo ilikuwa ni dola bilioni mbili sasa hivi ukijumuisha ni karibu zaidi ya, ya uh, shilingi za Kenya bilioni eh, 280 wakati ule. Kwa hiyo ni jambo ambalo ni nzuri zaidi na kwa sababu ya hilo pia unaona kampuni eh, za kiserikali kama kampuni ya umeme Kenya Power kwa mara ya kwanza imeweza kupata eh, eh, faida ya shilingi bilioni 30 eh, ambayo ni, ni ongezeko la asilimia moja eh, eh, kwa wadu, wale ambao watu wameweza kuingia watu F, mia, ine na 47 na saba wameweza kujisajili mpya wa sasa wanaweza kupata umeme. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha wakenya wengi eh, karibu nusu milioni wana sasa wanaweza kupata stima kwao nyumbani. Hilo ni jambo zuri zaidi na pia ukiangalia hata kampuni ya, yetu ya ndege ya Kenya Airways kwa mara ya kwanza imeweza kupata faida ya shilingi milioni 513 na ilhali mwaka uliopita walikuwa wameweza kupoteza zaidi ya bilioni 21.7. Kwa hivyo unaona kwamba kuna 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 utofauti mkubwa eh, hususan kwa sababu pia serikali imeweza kufutilia madeni mengi madeni ya, ya makampuni ya sukari madeni ya, ya, ya Kenya Airways na na, na, na kukua na udhibiti bora kwa sababu ya uongozi unaofaa hata kampuni ya Kengen ambayo pia imeweza kuongezea eh, eh, faida kwa sh, eh, shilingi bilioni moja nukta tatu ama ukipenda asilimia 35 eh, ukilinganisha na mwaka uliopita kwa hiyo nafikiri hilo ni jambo zuri zaidi na ndipota ndiposa unaona kwamba mfuko wa kimataifa wa fedha uh, wa IMF sasa umeweza eh, 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 kusema kwamba Kenya ni ni, ni, ni ni uchumi ambao umeweza kujihimili vyema na kwa hivyo sasa ume, eh, 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 mfuko huu wa fedha umeweza kutupatia zaidi ya bilioni eh, sabini na nane ambazo zitaweza kutumika katika miradi tofauti tofauti mbali mbali hapa hapa nchini na utakuta kwamba zaidi sasa hivi tunavyozungumza kuna pesa ambazo tumeziweka kama reserve eh, kwenye, kwenye, kwenye hazina yetu eh, pe, eh, kwa, kwa dola zime, zimeweza kuongezeka eh, mpaka dola na, eh, milioni eh, bilioni 8.5 dola bilioni 8.5 Eh, kwa hiyo inasaidia sana kuhakikisha kwamba eh, 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 shilingi yetu haiwezi ikapunguka eh, eh, kwa, kwa bei eh, na, na gharama. Kwa hiyo nafikiri dhamani yake ni nzuri zaidi. Ukiangalia pia tunasema hivi, hatutaki kukopa sisi kama wa Kenya. Tunataka kuwa na, na, na maridhiano na masikilizano na makampuni ya kibinafsi waweze kuwekeza ndiposa na sisi tuweze kufaidi. Na ndio mchakato huu wote wa adani wakuje pale wayatupatie dola bilioni eh, 2.5 na hizo hizo ni zaidi ya uh, do, uh, shilingi za Kenya uh, bilioni 267 ili tuweze kuwa na uwanja mpya wa ndege katika ekari 1000 na watu waweze kufaidika pia tuweze kumaliza hii shida ya umeme ambayo tuko nayo hapa Kenya nchini na wanaweza kuwekeza zaidi ya shilingi bilioni eh, na saba a uh, kupitia ule mvuke jiodhamo ukipenda ndio kama miji kama nakuru meru isiolo na kadhalika na kwingineko tuweze kupata umeme tuache kuwa na hii mambo ya blackout ambayo tumezoea hapa nchini na utaangalia kabisa miradi hii ambayo ni ushirikiano kati ya serikali na makampuni ya, ya kibinafsi sio tu hapa nchini ambayo imeweza kuwa inatumika ukiangalia kama kule eh, Ufaransa 
eh, jum, eh, jengo lile ambalo linahimili ambayo ni headquarter ya, ya jeshi lao eh, limeweza kutengenezwa kupi, ku, lilijengwa kupi, kupitia uh, muundo huo 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 wa kushirikiana na makampuni ya kibinafsi eh, hexagon ballad kwa hiyo utakuta kwamba pia kule eh, JF Kennedy pia termino 1 na termino 6 eh, uwanja wa ndege wameweza pia kutumia njia hiyo hiyo na pia ukiangalia eh, ule eh, eh, ule mradi mzima wa Heathrow Airport zaidi ya trilioni mbili za Kenya wanatumia wanatumia pale kufanya uwanja mpya wa ndege sio tu hapa tu kusema tu kama ni story tu hapa hivi na zaidi ukiona hata hapa Kenya hii expressway ambayo iko hapa pia ilikuwa ni muundo huo zile nyumba za kule Ruiru elfu moja na hamsini zinajengwa kulingana na, na muundo huo huo wa kushirikiana na makampuni ya kibinafsi kwa sababu gani tukifanya hivyo hatutokopa tukifanya hivyo pia tutakuwa na ile inaitwa technology transfer pia watu wetu wataweza kuwa na maarifa zaidi na pia serikali kwa ujumla na pia tutakuwa na utendakazi wa haraka pindi ambavyo watu wataweza kupata faida ya pesa zao ni jambo zuri ningependa kwa rai wa Kenya tuweze kushirikiana kabisa ndipo sasa tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba tuna faidi kutokana na, 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 na mpango huu wote na pia ni wapatie e, e, jambo pengine wengine hawajui tuna sheria kambambe ambayo imeweza mambo ya PPP kwa hivyo sio tu jambo tu la kukisia ama kusema kwamba maora kuja leta mtu wako ala hasha hilo ni jambo ambalo tayari limewekwa katika sheria kwa hivyo tuunge mkono kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo njia mbadala uh, pasipo kutoa kutoa kodi ama kulipishwa riba ya hali ya juu ama kuenza ku, ku, kutafuta mikopo kwa sababu tumekopa E, 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 zaidi ya kiasi cha haja. Kwa hivyo hilo ni jambo ambalo ningependa kuambia wa Kenya tafadhali tuweze kuungana diposa tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba miradi ya Kenya isiweze kusalia nyuma adha isitapata kwamba sisi wenyewe tutakuwa tuko mbele lakini turudi nyuma kwa sababu wenzetu wa nchi ambazo zinatukaribia hapa wanasonga mbele. Na tuache haya maneno kila wakati tunapeleka kesi zetu kostini. Kwa mfano mpango huu wote wa SHA ulianzishwa na mheshimiwa Rais William Ruto E, wakati alipotia sahihi zile sheria tatu tarehe 19 Oktoba mwaka uliopita. Na alikuwa ananuia kwamba tuanze kutekeleza tarehe moja mechi mwaka huu. Lakini kile ambacho kilichotendeka ndugu zangu ni kwamba tumekuwa kotini kwa miezi saba tumeuanza tu tarehe moja Oktoba. Sasa ndugu zangu ni waulize nani ambaye kapoteza? Watu wengi ambao pengine wangeweza kusaidiwa hawakuweza kusaidiwa kwa sababu E, ya makesi haya. Kwa hivyo kama kuna miradi ambayo ni ya kusaidia mwananchi, tusiwe na watu ambao pengine wanaangalia, pengine watapoteza wananchi wa kifaidi, tuungane kwa pamoja tusonge mbele. Wewe usikae hapo ukisema kwamba hakuna faidi, faida. Sasa hivi nyumba zinatoka mpaka shilingi 1500 kule kwale, nunua yako, we, lipa 1500, lipa kila si, mwezi shilingi 1300, ufaidike kutokana na, na miradi hii. Na tayari tunashukuru sana kwa sababu tayari ukiangalia uh, zile za hanati na za umma zaidi 1760 zimeweza kusajili katika eh, eh, mfumo huu na pia zile za kibinafsi 1498 na pia wale ambao eh, ni, 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 ni zile hospitali ambazo ni za eh, kama ni makanisa na, na pia hata misikiti zaidi ya 1442 na pia kuna watu ambao wana hospitali zao za kijamii 17 na hata kuna pia wa, zile cancer centers uh, centers za saratani ambao ni 55 ambazo zimeweza kusajili. Kwa hivyo watu waweze kuja kwa wingi, tayari serikali imeweza kutenga shilingi bilioni tisa. kumalizana na lile deni la shilingi bilioni 30, eh, wiki mbili zilizopita ilikuwa bilioni moja nukta tano. tunaendelea kupata zile pesa na bilioni moja ya hizi ni itaenda eh, kwa, kwa, kwa ule eh, mpango wote walinda mama. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu tusiwe watu ambao tu eh, ni, wa, ni wa kupiga tu kelele tayari tunaona kwamba kuna wale ambao wanahusika wale mangao eh, afisa wetu wangao na pia masizi wamejumuishwa kukuelezeni ni kipi ambacho watachokifanya diposa mradi huu wote uweze eh, kufaulu Kenya itainuka Kenya itasimama Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo Mimi ni mkenya mzalendo je wewe um press statement by the government spokesperson Isaac Maura today uh, today we are going to address the low cost of living and by the way before we proceed how do we say this um, in uh, let's try let's try it's always good this is internal production let's try in, in english let me see Kenya shall rise Kenya shall stand firm Kenya shall prosper in the spirit of nationhood and patriotism i am a patriotic kenyan what about you
The government is pleased to announce substantial progress in reducing the cost of living for Kenyans, fulfilling key commitments outlined in the Better Plan through coordinated efforts across multiple sectors. The government is making tangible strides in improving affordability and economic resilience of all Kenyans. Under the leadership of President William Ruto, the government has taken decisive steps to elevate the cost, high cost of living directly impacting Kenya's daily expenses. These efforts are being driven by sector-specific initiatives which are bearing fruit as observed in the latest economic indicators. For example, the fuel prices have now gone down without subsidies. Kenyans are experiencing immediate savings on transport and energy costs. This change benefits not only consumers, but also small businesses and agricultural producers who rely on affordable transportation to bring products to the market. For example, John Odongo, a border border operator in Kisumu, has seen his daily fuel expenses drop, allowing him to save up to Kenya shillings 200 per day. These savings have enabled him to set aside funds for his children's school fees while offering more affordable rides to his customers, contributing to local economic growth as more residents can afford transportation for work, school, and errands. Reducing food prices and support, uh, supported by fertilizer subsidy program, this has actually enabled the security of the food uh, in, uh, in homes, where over 54% of uh, family incomes is spent on food. And it is actually in alignment with our one of our pillars of agriculture and food security as enshrined in the Better Plan. The government launched a fertilizer subsidy program aimed at enhancing farm productivity and increasing the yields. Farmers in regions such as the Rift Valley and Central Kenya have benefited significantly, uh, reporting higher harvests that have led to more affordable staple foods like maize and beans across the nation. We were able to reduce, as a government, a fertilizer from 7,000 shillings to about 2,500. As a result, basic household commodities, which had previously experienced steep price increases, have become more affordable. For example, unga is now retailing at approximately Kenya shillings 100, sugar at around Kenya shillings 120, and cooking gas at about Kenya shillings 1,000, while cooking oil has reduced to Kenya shillings 200 per litre. The Kenyan shillings has been remarkable in terms of its stabilization against the dollar, now standing at Kenya shillings 130 compared to Kenya shillings 162 at the beginning of the year. This currency stability is a major advantage, especially in a global economic landscape that faces persistent volatility. It has led to great uh, predictability for imports costs, which has a ripple effect across various sectors. Importers of essential goods such as fuel, pharmaceuticals, and industrial machinery can now plan and budget more effectively as stable currency rates reduce unforeseen expenses. Kenya's inflation rate has shown a remarkable and steady reduction as a result of targeted economic reforms in key sectors, particularly in energy and agriculture. Inflation has dropped to 3.6%, the lowest level since 2012, down from the 9% that was uh, you know, witnessed earlier this year. When it comes to economic growth, as a result of the, uh, these uh, in, uh, interventions, there has been increased economic growth, especially as demonstrated by various uh, companies. So several corporations for, uh, or that were previously struggling financially are not a profitable trajectory. For example, the Kenya Power Lighting Company, um, otherwise popularly known as Kenya Power, has reported a net profit of Kenya shillings 30 billion. This was driven by a 21% rise in electric, electricity sales to Kenya shillings 231 billion, uh, 100, uh, uh, 231 billion um, 112, and um, decreased finance costs due to the strengthening of the Kenya shillings. Uh, this is really important because uh, of the buying of um, you know, you know, uh, diesel and all of that. And what is most important is that the company has added an additional 447,251 new customers. So that means more and more Kenyans have been able to join the, the, the electricity uh, grid. And that means we are doing well in, in terms of last mile connectivity, as promised that we will be able to 
put uh, on board uh, over a million new customers. Uh, you know, that's the target of the government. When it comes to Kenya Airways, for the first half of 2024, Kenya Airways reported a profit of Kenya shillings in 513 million after tax. This marks a significant turnaround from the Kenya shillings 21.7 billion loss reported in the same period last year. Kenjen reported a 35% profit after tax for the fiscal year ending June 30, 2024, to Kenya shillings 6.8 billion, up from Kenya shillings 5 billion, driven by a strong growth in revenues from its geothermal and hydroelectric power plants. The International Monetary Fund has also affirmed that Kenya's economic growth is above average, attributing it to the prudent management of Kenya's economic and the early repayment of a $2 billion, uh, 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 billion euro bond debt, which also has resorted to IMF uh, approving another $606 million, that is Kenya shilling $78 billion, uh, you know, in funding, $606 million uh, for development projects across the country. The decline in inflation allows households to manage budgets as they experience more predictable pricing on everybody's uh, goods alongside the progress. The Kenya's foreign exchange reserves have strengthened, rising to $8.5 billion. And this increase says not only the uh, confidence in our security as a country, financial security, but also boosts investor uh, reliability because they can see the market is actually good for investment, making Kenya a new attractive destination uh, you know, for internationals. Now, let's turn to public-private partnerships. The government remains committed to strengthening public-private partnerships because they are vital in, for sustainable development. Uh, as we, we know, the fiscal headroom in our country has really shrunk because of previous public debt that stands at approximately 11 trillion shillings. Today's economic challenges make it essential for Kenya to embrace PPPs as an alternative to traditional financing models, and it is also anchored in law. It's good to say that. We passed that in the 12th Parliament. Beyond infrastructure, PPPs offer Kenya many advantages. These uh, uh, advantages include uh, the reduction of public debt, as the government can allocate resources to other priorities, while the private sector shares uh, projects risks. The private sector efficiency also, you know, the uh, private sector is always ahead of government in many ways and also more efficient. Uh, and modern management practices make PPPs more cost effective, delivering high quality services and ensuring better value for Kenyans. It is good to note that there are notable projects internationally like uh, the, Heath the new Heathrow Airport that is being constructed at a cost of a two trillion Kenya shillings. Terminal 1 and Terminal 6 of the J JFK, uh, J uh, John F. Kennedy Airport in New York, also uh, a, you know, a, a very high cost there. And also, if you look at the military headquarters in France, uh, Hexagon Ballard uh, has also been constructed using the same model. Again, you will find other airports in Australia and other, uh, and, and other jurisdictions. Here in Kenya, we have the Nairobi Expressway, which is a PPP project, and also the Royal Affordable Housing Projects, and many others that, that we can cite here. And so, therefore, the Adani JKA private in, privately initiated program uh, or project uh, at a cost of about 270 billion or thereabout uh, for 30 years aims to transform the 1978 uh, JKA airport, uh, which is highly dilapidated into a modern uh, you know, commercial hub uh, so that we can maintain our lead. Currently, uh, it, that facility is supposed to uh, shoulder. Uh, or to harbor 7.6 million uh, Kenyans, or uh, sorry, passengers, I beg your pardon, but then it is already at 8.2 million. So, so it's already surpassed uh, its annual you know, capacity. And that's why you find it has dilapidated uh, you know, you know, runway. Uh, if you look at even the, the terminals, some of them are actually tens that were only supposed to, to last for 10 years. They are even you know, leaking. You have seen that before. They are, they are queues there. So we need to ensure that we move forward. Otherwise, we are going to be overrun by our neighbors. In reality, PPPs are proven uh, globally to drive progress and development with examples uh, such as the ones that I've given them uh, there uh, above. And so that's it's also the same model even for the social health, uh, social, social health authority. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Universal health care. Uh, you know, we have a PPP arrangement with a, a consortium uh, to ensure that they provide the technology that is required uh, to uh, make sure that this program is successful. Uh, I'm very happy to report that over 13 million Kenyans have registered uh, to us. So if you are not registered, please join so that you are not left behind. We have already started having deductions from those who are salaried. Even myself, I'm paying uh, about 22,000 shillings. And it's going to a kitty 
to benefit all Kenyans. Those who are paying 300 shillings and those who are paying uh, as much as myself or even more, we all belong to one country. And that is the equity that comes with this kind of uh, thinking and policy uh, to ensure that all hustlers benefit and beyond. And as a result, over 20,000 employers have been able to register. Uh, we commend them and also public health facilities that are owned by government, 4,760, 2,498 uh, from the private sector, 1,442 uh, from the faith-based facilities such as Kikuyu Hospital uh, and also the Mata Hospital and others, 17 community facilities and 86 other healthcare facilities. We are happy to say that now at least we can register 55 cancer care uh, providers. This is very commendable because we had very few facilities in this regard and we have also 184 renal care health providers who have already signed up. The government has already paid 9 billion shillings uh, in terms of uh, what was owed to uh, NHIF, the shift to shift, the shift to shift. Uh, and so we have a balance of 21 billion, uh, which we intend to clear of the 9 billion, 1 billion is for the Linda Mama program uh, because we need to have, you know, you know, safe deliveries. And, you know, uh, this has also been increased uh, in the new program where you have actually the, 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 the shift program. You have uh, 10,000 shillings for normal delivery and 30,000 for, 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 for uh, Sicilian. Um, so we are we are doing the Shah National Sensitization Program. This office is leading this, and we have county commissioners and CECs uh, in places such as uh, Nyanza, uh, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma, Busia, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Migori, Kisi, and Nyamira. They are already being trained now, and this multisectoral uh, collaboration and approach uh, helps us to be the best of interlocutors in ensuring that we provide uh, proper health care. Kenya shall rise. Kenya shall stand firm. Kenya shall prosper in the spirit of nationhood and patriotism. I am a Kenyan patriot. What about you? Thank you.